Hey everybody, Curzy is here. Welcome back to Banners of Ruin. Now, if you haven't seen any of my other previous videos on this game, this is a roguelite uh, RPG card collector game, basically where you're just a rebel group of anthropomorphic animals fighting other anthropomorphic animals. It's And it's got excellent music, great gameplay, and the developers added a whole lot more like what like these oaths and any party member death ends the game do these actually all of these uh, are score multipliers oh whenever a party member dies during campaign all my prize lose one max will enemies regain five vitality per turn all enemies with fury start to count with five stacks of it. Apply bleed applied to party members increased by 50%, but any bleed they gain no longer ticks. Enemies deal in 50% damage armor. Wow, okay, so this, these are things you put on to make the game harder, but increase your score. That is interesting, but I'm not gonna do any of that. <laughs> Anyway, so what they did though, they added uh, character abilities and card upgrades that you get, you collect along the way. And uh, new cards also when you, um, when you start the game and as you go along. What is Prey? Increase the character's stats, inspect weapons. Oh, this has two, uh... no, never mind. Never mind. It's, oh, it's, it's one counter. My bad. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I like inspecting weapons. Let's see if we can get something better here. Halberd. Apply 12 damage to a rank. Applies 2 bleed. If opponent already has bleed, apply cripple. Hmm. 13 damage gain. 3 pacified. And 3 charge. I like that. I like that. Okay, so that's a two-hander. Oh. I was hoping that wasn't two-handed, but I wasn't looking at it as two-handed. This is two-handed also. That's two-handed. I like this as I have it, so let's roll, roll with it. Tonal Walls. And I'm only going to play through the first scenario here because this game can take a very long time to do a full playthrough. And if you guys want to see the rest of this playthrough, just let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, so the weasels have the ability here. You can spawn three concealed blades in your hand. By the way, these abilities are all very powerful. I think the developer is probably going to nerf these as they uh, as people give them feedback. Because to be honest, these are really strong abilities, especially the concealed blade here. So let's uh, move on here. So, like, I spawn these three concealed blades, right? And then I'm just like... Boom, boom. Boom. This guy dies. And then we're going to hit that. Who are you attacking, by the way? Okay, you're just attacking him. And then we're going to vanguard you. And sadly, I just can't get the job done this turn but he dies to his bleed and you're just gonna hit him and not do any damage anyway do 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 and then we're just gonna hit you eh, goodbye and of course we gain cards every turn calculated strike eight damage gain two preparation preparation is actually pretty good oh but do i want it though it's too too stamina to use uh yeah, I'll take it. Anyways, into the city we go. You open the hatch and enter the city. All right, and combat it is. The first one is always a combat. 13 damage and a pacified. Hmm. So hit that. Hit that. 
And I can't do anything else because he's pacified. Okay. I should have thought about that. But it's fine. Ow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And using these abilities costs a willpower point. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, we're, we're good. And he's dead, and we're good to go. Do 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 done. Florin's on a card. Quick hands is good. All right, ruin all cards in hand. Uh, no, no, we'll take the quick hands. Preparation's a good status effect to have. It just draws you more cards. Blackfoot agents discard a random combat. Uh, let's just yeah, let's discard that fight that. That wasn't a combat. I can't do an elite combat. At least I don't think I could. Let's give it a shot. Uh, or I could just take 15% vitality. Let's take 15% vitality. Because I want the off-duty guards here to spawn the, uh, the drunk guards. Ah, oh, damn it though. Upgrade token. Upgrade tokens are more important than the Florins. I'll take this. Plus one stamina cost, party heals three vitality. I don't like that, but... I believe we can work with it. With the momentum card. And we'll use a quick round here to regain our health. And of course, we got hit by a search party. Why not? Whatever. So let's see here. Use the Vanguard here. We need to hit the Beaver. He's going to be one of the more annoying. But we're going to use that too. Use the quick hands, draw a card, gain three preparation. All right, this will be OK. Ow. Okie dokie. So let's use your abilities here first. And then you, I believe. We can hit him. You're both attacking him. That was pretty crappy. So I'll take nine damage, that's fine. They're both attacking him again. This time for 16, he's gonna take six. Oh my god. Ten damage across the board here. Let's just make it five. Ugh. This group was... Ah, my eye. Anyway, this group was just a little brutal. Stop trying to attack him! Let's kick him back.
You jerk. Just kill him now. Oh my god, that was unnecessary. Heavy blow, weapon damage, plus eight? No, it's three, three stamina. Uh, nope, okay, none of those cards are any good. Both my guys have leveled up, thankfully. So what did we get here from you? Uh, unscrupulous, transfer your next three rune cards, you know, no, no. Flash, place this character's weapon card from any pile into the hand, gain four charge. I like that. Slippery, uh, yeah, let's take that. And then, uh, we'll get more stamina. You, my friend. Acid burn, 12 damage, this breaks their armor, apply 10 poison. Or incision, I like incision better. And we'll go ahead and gain stamina. Let's look at the loot, please. And a spear, garbage. I was hoping for armor, like better armor. Why? The game is just being mean. So you need armor. You're being targeted twice for a lot of damage. So you're going to strike and then solid footing. And then you, you're going to go ahead and pop off here a little bit. There we go. Ow, ow, ow. Just stop it. All right, let's see here. All three are targeting my bottom guy. Are you guys for real? Uh, 30 damage. So if I do that, kick the bear back. And then I think we're good. Um, let's put your weapon into your hand. That would be nice, thank you. And then we're just gonna kinda just crush one of these guys in the face. Oh yeah, you got pacified. Can't do anything else. That's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, this is not cool. All right, you die, and now we can focus on the other two guys. Dies to bleed, and then we focus. All right. Very good. A strike, crossbow, and we're good. Jeez. Draw this character's next talent card from your draw pile. I like that. Um, weapon damage plus eight again. No, okay, I don't like any of that really. Go away, let me just... On expiration, party takes damage, yeah, no, 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 no. Drunken guards will take the 300 florins, thank you. Crossroad, and now we have to do a combat. That's just fantastic. Oh, my luck is no good. Alright, that kills him. 
He's taking eight. That's fine. All right, cool. You die from bleed. You take bleed damage. You hit him for eight. Nothing happens. Where you going, buddy? Come on back. All right, what kind of card? Flurry, if no, no mercy, no. Nope, I don't like any of those cards. Those cards all suck. Can we please? And I cannot do anything but get rid of the hesitation. Ooh, another intelligence, so. Um, uh, healing or... Ah, uh, healing or a level, I have to take the healing. You heal. Thank you. Have a nice day. And we'll just do this combat because the game is really crappy. This is fine. Take two damage there. Just get rid of you. Two times three at six damage, so you're fine. Let's actually use this. No, actually, uh, well, it doesn't. No? Yeah, no, yeah. No, we'll just discard that. Okay. And then... Hit you with that. Spawn the zero cost concealed blade. And then hit it for three more. And he dies next turn to bleed. Yeah, yeah, buddy. You ain't got nothing. But I'm just gonna kill you anyway. Ruination, no, uh, Ruino. No, those cards are all bad. Really bad cards. Knife Martin, execute back alley. Select the line, remove the next two cards. Now let's uh, go with the uh, knife merchant. Momentum strategy. Pincer's good. I'll take that. Thank you. Crossroad, combat, crossroad. Okay, and we're at the crossroad. We're done. Uh, Smithy Tavern. Uh, let's go to the tavern. So I'm pretty sure I could use a new party member. What about the level 3 wolf? Uh, never forget. Deal 4 damage next time for each banish card. Banish. I don't have any... We do, uh, I don't know. What about you? Well, this guy has a crossbow, also battle tempo. If active character is in front rank deal, one times five damage. Back rank, gain armor. All right, but what about the rabbit? Uh, if this breaks the target's armor, deal damage equal to the lost armor to all adjacent. Select a trap, modify it to apply five vulnerable and one overwhelm in addition to its base damage. What? Select a trap. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm I'm intrigued. Alrighty. Enter the hideout. Let's do this boss fight. It's a trap.
Place the trap in any vacant position. When the character moves to that position, they take 15 vitality damage. That's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, attacking the rabbit, attacking middle guy, attacking middle guy. Let's put your weapon into your hand. And then we're gonna... Just hit this guy. Because he's really just quite there. And then you, my friend... I'm gonna move you... Out of the way and just give you all the armor ow evaded evaded all right my friend you're gonna go ahead and rush this guy here. And then pop out your three conceal blades. And give him all the bleeding. And you're gonna incision him, get another conceal blade. Pop on more bleeding. Three times three, huh? I need to be able to kick this boss onto that. Where's my kick? <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. It's fine. Where's my kick? All right, all right, all right. Uh, pincer. My God. Kill that guy. Okay, they're both just moving. Okay. So yeah, hit this guy with everything we got. Bleed. <laughs> Are you moving, or are you moving somebody? Okay, you're just moving yourself. There's my kick. And what about that trap ability? Yeah, there's exploding trap. Well, we're gonna go ahead and select that trap. It's modified. And then now you're just gonna go, hey you, uh. Take that trap. And you need to be put down to 10 health. I believe we can do that. All right, no, he's perfect, right where he is. Shrug it off. Every time his character receives more than 15 damage from an attack, okay. That's fine. And then you, we're going to use the momentum on you and discard the solid footing. And everybody gains three health. Beautiful. But you, however, you need armor, you need armor, you need armor. You need armor and give armor to him. Okay, we're good. I win. And now it's this guy's turn. <laughs> Let's see here. And then uh, use the calculating strike if you could. Hit him. And then hit him three more times.
And then you... Can't do that. Goodbye. And that is it. Gain a card. Double team is an excellent card. You should always pick that up. And equipment. Heavy armor. Wow. Like, I need heavy armor. Heavy armor is garbage. And, of course, my people leveled up. And now uh, we're definitely going to give you willpower, but you need a passive. What passive can we get? Fundamentals. So striking guards are effectively... Uh, doubly effective when played by this character. Okay. Uh, bloodthirsty. Taste for blood. Each combat, no. Whenever this character kills an enemy with an attack, eh, maximum vitality up. I like that. But also, guards and strikes being double is actually pretty good for this guy. So I'm going to roll with it. And you, more will, and what's a good passive? Unholy is actually a really good passive. Uh, every time you spawn a concealed blade, sharp gains one stack. All concealed blades deal additional damage equal to the stacks of sharp. That is beautiful. Whenever this character ruins a card, they gain five. Eh, let's take that. Awesome. And, of course, now you have the ability to gain Florins, heal everybody up 100%, or level up a character. Generally, I always take the Florins, almost no matter what. But anyways, though, that is the time, all the time I have for right now. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notifi not notification bell, punch the like button, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.